everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs, and today I have another Caesar Leonardo Design Studio Pro tutorial for you. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can save as an SVG in the Leonardo Design Studio software, export it as an SVG from the software. Now, this is a Leonardo Design Studio Pro feature. Check out the description below for more details on the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio Pro software. I'll have all the information that is current in that description. I'm not going to go into all the details for cost in this because the most current information will be in the description. So let's take a look at this. So I'm also going to link in the description a video that I did where I drew this design that is on my screen in my Procreate app and then I brought it into Leonardo Design Studio to turn it into a cut file. So that's in the description below. Check out that video there to know how I created this. But I wanna show you how you can bring this in. This is a transparent PNG file, and I wanna show you how you can export as an SVG. I am currently using, if I come up here to help and about, I am currently using the version 1.1.8. And this is how it's going to work in this version. So if it's updated down the road, depending on when you're watching this video, something may change and I'll have a new video out. But this is how you're going to bring in a PNG file in the current version of 1.1.8 and export as an SVG. So let's get started. So I'm first, I'm just gonna close this so I start fresh. I'm going to open up the file where I have it saved file open, and here is my PNG file. Now I created this on a 12 by 12 canvas in Procreate. When, you, when I open it up, it's going to open with two options as a PNG file, either a print and cut or a background. In order for it to trace around my design to get a cut line, I need to open it as a print and cut file. I'm going to choose 300 DPI down here and choose next. Then personally, I usually try all of the trace features automatically and I just continue to click next as I go through. Each design may vary in what you need to choose or if you need to change those settings, but I haven't had to yet. So then I'm just gonna bring this in and make it smaller on my design page. Now, what you'll notice is I opened it as a print and cut file. This is how Leonardo Design Studio brings in an image and traces to get a cut line. This file, if I look down here, it shows as print and cut underneath the dimensions at the bottom. I don't need it to print and cut. And in version 1.1.8, I can turn off the print and cut for any image that I've brought into the software. So if I uncheck that, you're going to see my registration marks disappear. What you're also going to notice is at the bottom, it now says print and cut, cut. Now, if I were to go over here to the send tab, what we're going to see, if I click on it, is two different design mats. Now, what this is, is it is giving us a cut line, and then it's also giving us a fill, which is actually the print data for this file. So I wanna show you two things. I'm gonna show you first the steps to take for an SVG file, to export it as the SVG file, and then I'm gonna show you why I do those steps the way I did. So this, these are the steps to take when you bring in an image and you want to export it as an SVG cut file. Currently, this shows as a print and cut because it traced as a print and cut when it comes in. That means that there are two layers as we saw on the design tab or on the send tab. If I right click, I go to paths and choose ungroup paths. Now you're going to see the design change just a little bit on the screen. I'm gonna undo this and you can we can come back out here. Let me zoom in so you can actually see that physical change on the screen. You're also going to notice over here that it's going to change from one layer into two layers under my layer one. If I right click on this and I choose paths, ungroup paths, notice it changed a little bit on my screen. 
If I click off of it, first I wanna show you here, now it, there are two items that are selected. So I'm going to move this apart. So this is my cut line. The blue is my cut line. It shows as a blue object here in 1.1.8. It's using the cut tool. This is my print image, or this is my image that would be used for the print and cut. That is the print data. When I want to export as an SVG in version 1.1.8, since it opened as a print and cut, I need to separate that cut line to export the cut line as the SVG. And I'll show you why here in just a second. So if I come back out here and I select this cut line, I'm simply going to come up to File, Export Artwork, and this is a Pro version feature. I'm going to choose Selected Artwork, or you can choose All Artwork. Mine is I want to export only the selected artwork. I want to include the cut contours. I'm going to do it at a 300 DPI, which shouldn't make a difference for SVG and choose SVG file editable. Save, and then you can see I've saved, I've been testing this quite a bit. So I'm just going to name that Leaf Demo 1. And I'm going to save it here as an SVG. So click Save. Now if I come to a new design mat, File, Open, and I'm going to come over to Leaf Demo 1, and I'm going to open that SVG file. Now I have different options that I can open as. If I wanna choose just cut, I can choose cut only and choose next. So here is my cut file, the SVG that I have opened. Now, I wanna show you why I had to separate those out. So if I come back on a new design mat, I'm going to open my original PNG file again. And then I'm going to choose next and have it trace. And then once again, I'm going to make this smaller so it fits on my page. And I'm gonna turn those registration marks off. Keep in mind that even though it looks like one layer, we have one layer that's print data and one layer that's a cut data that we had to ungroup previously. Now this is why I had to ungroup when I saved as an SVG. If I come in here and I simply go file export artwork and I choose save, then I'm going to save leave test demo test two. If I open that on a new design mat now, leaf demo test two and I choose cut only come in here to next apply what you'll notice here is I have excess space around this design it has retained that print data if you look down here leaf demo test two it shows me that there are two items grouped together if I'm opening this back up in Leonardo Design Studio this makes a difference if you are saving the SVG files because of this excess space around the edges of the design. So in Leonardo Design Studio, because it recognizes the selection box, if I move this, even though my design is not outside of that selection box, the selection box for the image is, so you're going to see that design turn a light gray versus the actual color of the design. Now, if you're working with this, you may encounter this with SVG files that you open yourself. So it is something great to note and to be aware of. So if I right click on this and I choose ungroup, it shows two items and I can see here, here is my image. If you look at that green box around it, that's my selection box that has that excess space. So the image itself has excess space around it but my cut file is now accurate around that. So for this, if you encounter any SVGs that you have excess space around it, that may be why. So in the version 1.1.8, if you are exporting as an SVG, 
make sure that you're ungrouping your print and cut image and you're saving only the cut lines for that SVG. Hope those tips have helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Check out the links in the description below for more information and make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.